by hitting my dick. <laughs> Wait for me to set this up in here. Or do I actually just have to hold this shit? Oh, it's sliding. Oh. Okay. Oh, let's go. All right, what's up, guys? It is Saturday. It is big Saturday, and more importantly, we're one week out, so it is single Saturday. So I'm gonna get that on a little bit later. Today is gonna be the last heavy training day. I'm supposed to be working up to a daily heavy single in the snatch. Hoping I get 80 plus, but we'll see what happens. Um, and I'm supposed to be working up to my opener in the clean and jerk, so I'm gonna be targeting 105 to 108. And uh, this past training week has been very, very up and down. I started the week off pretty strong, with the snatch PR, 86 keys. I uh, gave 88 three shots and didn't make it. And so it's definitely definitely there though. Um, but then afterwards, I've been in the process of moving. Some of you guys know that in my personal life, but I, I've been in the process of moving houses and that buildup of just like fatigue and stress just accumulated and towards midweek by Wednesday, I just couldn't, could not live for shit. And so, it is what it is, life happens. I made an executive decision to take Thursday off, which is normally a training day for me, but I took Thursday off to recover, came in, did my Thursday workout on Friday, felt really, really good, and now we're here on Saturday. It's f July 8th, and it's fucking 60 degrees outside. Like, it is summer. Like, this is the most ridiculous summer that I've ever been in, and so I personally hate it. Like, I just, I don't, I don't really like cold weather. Being someone who was like fatter, 220 pounds at one point, I've noticed I've had this little shift where when I was 220 pounds, it was, I hated hot weather and I loved cold weather. And I think it's just because you have that extra insulation. And so now that I've lost like a majority of my body fat and I'm currently weighing about like 180-ish right now, I hate cold weather. Like I get cold super easily now. And now I actually prefer being hot and warm. Next week, the program starts to taper even more. I only have three training days and the volume and intensities go down each training day. So next week, I'm really going to focus on my mobility and recovery and just trying to get my body um, as ready as possible for game day. But I'm going to head to the gym soon and I'll see you guys over there. Yeah. Go, Ryan. That's crazy, fool. Crazy. Oh. You mind recording for me? Sure. Oh wow, camera. Is it recording itself? Yes, yeah. it's recording. You like an old lady asking that. <laughs>
Dick. So recapping the training session, um, I think overall I'm pretty happy with what I hit today. I got 84 and 108, which is exactly what I wanted. Those are um, my openers for the meet, assuming all things go well. You like never really know what's gonna happen on meet day. Um, I didn't fuck up. I actually remembered my like SIM card and camera, and I was able to vlog at Iron Warehouse properly. And I'm pretty happy that I got to film other people. Even though this is like my channel and as amazing as I am, I don't really want it to be all about me, I suppose. Like I do want to showcase like a bunch of other lifters there. I want to kind of just, I don't know. I don't want it to be all about me. That's it. I feel, I feel like it's a lot more fun to get just a lot more people involved and just kind of like just showcasing everyone at Iron Warehouse. Like everyone there is like really, really strong. There's a lot of really, really good lifters there. And so I'm just going to continue the vlog and let's just see what happens. Big shout out to Ken and Ariel for uh, taking role in some of the filming process. It actually takes um, a huge burden off my shoulders when other people, you know, step in and film. So if you're watching this and, you know, you see my camera and it's just out there, you know, feel free to just grab it and just start filming stuff. Honestly, it makes it a whole hell of a lot easier just so it's not me doing everything. Even though I don't mind doing a lot of stuff, it's just sometimes when I'm training, it's kind of like my mind's like kind of split between like I want to focus in on my training and I also want to vlog other people. So today I was mainly just, um, you know, I was focusing on my own like training sessions and then when I realized that someone was going for like a lift, I was like, oh shit, let me try to get my camera on. Let me try to film it real fast. Um, so yeah, but I'm sure this process will come together, you know, with more experience and more time. But overall, it was a good training session. I'm excited for the meet. A lot of people there are going to be competing next week, so you'll see a lot of them and hopefully we all do good. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that bullshit, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.